Hi, and welcome to the section 9 of our course, releasing an iOS application. In this section, we will talk about the process of sending your application from your computer to Apple and start selling this application to the App Store. So we will start with the first video talking about why do we need to sign an application before sending this application to Apple. Then we will see how to generate all the certificates that are required for this process. And at the end, we will see how to configure Xcode to sign the application and, and finally submit this application to Apple. Let's start with our first video. Why do we need to sign the application? In this video, we will talk about the reason behind the signing process and why we are forced to sign an application before sending to Apple, and as well how the signing process works overall. The main reason why do we need to sign an application is security. All the iOS devices are allowed to execute the only code and application that are approved from Apple. So before executing any application, what your device does is to ask Apple if this application was approved or not. In most of the case, Apple says, yes, this application was approved. But in some other case, for example, if you have a virus or if you try to install application from third party stores, Apple says, no, you cannot execute this code. And the signing process is required for this functionality because Apple needs a way to recognize that this application that we are trying to execute now is exactly the same application that was approved sometimes before. And the signing process is a way of like marking this application to make it unique. But how does the signing process works? The first thing that you need to do is to generate your identity. Your identity is a couple of keys, one public key and one private key that are stored on your keychain. With your identity, you can ask Apple to generate one certificate that is certificate that then will be used to sign your application. Apple will also provide you another file that is called the mobile provisioning profile that contains some information like the name of the application, the name of the author of the application and the certificate that must be used for this application and all this information inside one single mobile provisioning profile. So what the developers must do? He needs to take the code that is inside the Xcode, then the certificates provided from Apple, the private key from the keychain and as well the provisioning profile and as well the mobile provisioning profile mix all together and generate one file with an extension that is IPA. This IPA file is basically the application. This application can be sent over to Apple. Apple does still some machinery on it and then generate a NAP file that is what your device will download from the App Store. This is basically the overall signing process from your code to the application. 